This is a rare one. Everyone seems to want the piercing that no one has. This is it. As a piercer, I try to get everything pierced that I can possibly offer to my clients. And once I started shooting this video, I realized I've never had my anti-tragus pierced. But I perform lots of them, and that's where my source of knowledge is coming. Now let's talk about the anti-tragus. Look up here, there's a picture of an ear, and this is the anti-tragus. It's right across the street from the tragus piercing. And sometimes I actually like to connect them in an orbital, just like so. Now, this piercing is very anatomy dependent. Not everyone can get it. Sometimes it's really flat, like I think, similar to this picture, and sometimes they really protrude and they just scream, pierce me. I don't know why more people don't do this. Sometimes they need to be at this angle, sometimes they need to be at an opposite angle. You kinda gotta feel and feel what the flattest part is and what feels the most natural. Um, if you're not sure, talk to your piercer, we'll gladly check for you and let you know because I don't know a piercer who doesn't like doing these piercings. The jewelry on this, typically you're gonna wanna get a curved barbell. Um, you're gonna need some extra room on here because this one does swell and swell for a while. And it's very important to downsize to that shorter post once that swelling's gone down enough and to where it's healed enough where you're not gonna re-irritate it. This piercing, once it's healed, can wear a ring or a circular barbell in there, but I really would suggest starting off with a curved barbell. This piercing typically heals a little bit longer than most other cartilage. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's because of the amount of blood flow or maybe that's the part of your ear that kind of hits the pillow first. Either way, it does take a little bit longer to heal, but it still does heal fairly easily and I haven't seen a lot of bumps form on these piercings. The piercing's gonna probably healed up in about six months. If you're rough on it, you're wearing helmets and it's getting bumped, it might be all the way up to a year. The most common problem people have with this is gonna be something like helmets or things pressing up against it. So if something's hurting it, don't do it. Also, if you're sleeping on it, that can cause a little extra irritation as well as leaving the long post in and never downsizing. So just listen to your body. If it hurts, don't do it. Any predictions on this one? Do you think it'll be up there, middle, lower? There's only one way to find out. little bit higher than normal. It is a little bit more on the painful side on this one, but it is some thicker cartilage. And I, I suppose it kind of depends on your anatomy, but of all the reactions of the people I've pierced, they seem to be like this is a little bit more on the painful side. I'm not saying it's not tolerable, but expect a pinch. I wish more people got these. It's a rare piercing, and I always want to root for the underdog. The anti tragus should make a comeback. Well, actually, it was never here to stay, so let's make it here to stay. Go get your anti tragus pierced today. Like, subscribe. That was terrible, but we're oh, keeping it. <laughs> have I gotten you excited about the anti tragus, or do you already have it? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoyed my video, as always, please hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes your body. See you on the next video.